What's up everybody? Today we're going to be using Stream Provider to stream our authentication state throughout the app. And we'll create an app like this where we can sign in. And using streams, our UI will change and go to the home screen. Then we'll also be able to sign out just like this. Before we get into the code, I kind of want to explain what this app is going to look like. So we'll have our two screens, login and our home screen. And we're going to put a little app where it says home. So these two home screens will be managed by a root widget right here, which manages which screen is displayed. Then we'll also have a state of user. So this will hold what user is currently using the app. Then in our main, we're going to have a main and using a stream provider. We're going to provide this user class to our whole app. So now let's get into the code. Before we start, we're going to want to add these three packages. So we're going to be using provider to manage our state and then Firebase Authentication and Google Sign-In to do the actual signing in. So here I've created a template for our app. It's very simple. We have our main screen, which leads us to our root. Then our root looks like this. We'll have a user defined. If the user is in no, we'll go to home screen. If it is no, we'll go to login screen, which is this. Our user model just has a UID. You can add whatever you want in here, but we just want to demonstrate that it works, so UID is enough. Then home screen, just sign up button with nothing, and login screen, sign in button with nothing enabled. So let's create our services folder where we're going to have our authentication services. Here we're going to have a file called auth.dart, and we're going to make a class called auth. In here, we need to create our Firebase auth instance. The first function we will need is sign in user with Google. You can make this asynchronous. And then we're going to want a second function that will sign out user. So I'm going to write the code for this. It's pretty simple and I have shown it in other tutorials. So let's fast forward through this. So these are the two functions we will need. So next let's create the actual stream of our auth state. The way we do that is we do stream and we want to stream our user, which we have a model here. It's just a UID. This stream will, we can call it get user and it will return auth on state change. This auth state change is the actual stream that Firebase returns. And if we were returning a Firebase user here, that would be enough. But since we want to return an actual user, let's map this to a user. So we have a function called event. I like to actually write everything out. I feel like it's easier to understand. And we can map that to actually first let's make sure Firebase user is not null. If it's not null, then we want to return our user with UID, Firebase user dot UID. Otherwise return null. If you don't do that, you'll see an error pop up once you sign out. Because it'll be, it'll say Firebase user called, well, you, the UID function called on null. 
So there we have it. That's our stream. So we've created the stream of our user. So the next step is we want to provide that stream to our whole app. We can do that in the main. Uh, let's wrap this root widget, or we can actually wrap the whole app with a stream provider. And we're going to actually do stream provider dot value. And what type of stream provider? We're going to stream a user. We can import that as well. So it's complaining. It needs an argument called value. This value will be our actual stream that we want to provide. So it's this right here. We get that by calling our auth class, creating an instance. Let's import that and then getting the user. So this stream provider will provide a type of user and the value where you get this user type is from auth.user. So now our whole app should have access to our user. So next we go to the root screen because that's the next step. This will manage the user. So in order to assign this user a variable, we're going to do provider dot of context and what type do we want to provide the user type. We're seeing some errors, but so we need to reload. There's been too many changes with the main. So once we reload, we'll see that this user is still no. So we go to the login screen. So on the last two steps, which is actually signing the user in. So if we go to login and we call our auth class and just do sign in user with Google. And that should be all we need to do. So when we click sign in, we'll notice the pop-ups and we'll right, go right to the home screen. Notice we just changed this auth. That's the only thing we're changing. This whole stream is getting updated by itself. So in our main.dart, we're providing this stream. Since we changed the auth, the stream will also get updated and will get provided below to the rest of the app. So the very last step now is on our home screen, do the same thing except sign out. And I didn't import it right. Sign out user, just like that. And we're able to sign in and sign out using streams and authentication. So I'm going to be updating my book club app to be using this since it doesn't. And this is a lot cleaner and safer, just better overall. This code will be on GitHub if you want to use it or check it out. If you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.